hello amazing people welcome back to a new video guys on today's video i'll be showing you how i achieve this flare on the lower part of this dress which is the skirt part and this is actually um a spiral flounce okay i'll show you the easy way to achieve this so the first thing i did was to make a markings on my fabric okay so i did um a width of 36 inches and also a length of 54 inches so what i did now was to get the midpoint of each line so for the 36 the midpoint was 18 and for the 54 the midpoint was 27 so the essence of this midpoint is to what get a straight lines in between which will form what a cross just like you see so the essence of course was to get the actual midpoint that i will start working with so from that center point i'm going to be marking out three inches okay yeah so three inches on every single line so in doing this automatically i'm getting what a circle so what i will do now is to go ahead and connect all the circles you know connect all the points together to form um, a circle so once i was done the first thing to do now was to make my first marking for the flounce which is going to be the width of um, the the flounce that i need so the width that i actually want was 6.5 but having in mind that i'm going to be adding 0.5 five inches to join it to the dress and also 0 0.5 inches i need to hem it with the lower part that is joining it with the lining that will make it what 7.5 so i went ahead to make my first marking at any point of that circle so you see where i chose i marked the first marking of 7.5 then the circle that is closest to that point i went ahead to make um, a curve so like you see i have created my curve first so after that i will keep what making my markings of 7.5 all true so as i go around the circles i will also what connect these points together so this is what i will keep doing till i'm able to what get to a point where i can no longer you know move forward like i can no longer get that weight of 7.5 that i'm actually working with so when i got to this point you could see i have gotten the limit okay moving forward i will start getting lesser than that number okay so i went ahead what to, to connect you know all the other points together to give me my spiral shape okay and after that at that point where i stopped i just gave it what a slant line and guys that was it so this is how the cutting will go you just keep going cutting through the circle just keep going around till you get to the point where you can no longer get a width of what 7.5 so now that in order to confirm that i used my tape to measure so you see my shape going towards that point when i move forward there it was obvious i could no longer get that um 7.5 i was some, getting something lesser than that number as it keeps going it gets smaller so the point where my 7.5 inches stop which is this point here i will go ahead what and you know draw a curve a, a slant line there so in order to take note of that point you see me doing some markings there just to show me that when i am cutting through i'm going to stop at that point okay which is where my 7.5 inches what is going towards top okay so once i was done with that so i'll go ahead what and cut out so right now i'm not cutting out you know the entire shape i'm just cutting out to reduce the width of this fabric because you remember i'm going to be placing this on on another piece which is the main piece okay to cut this shape out so it's important to do this okay so that you get the exact same shape okay so what i'll do now was to go ahead and lay this on my main fabric yeah remember where we actually did our marking was the lining yeah so i laid this on the main fabric okay once i was done making sure very important that the right sides was are facing each other then i went ahead to cut this entire shape all through yeah guys so guys at this point 
please guys i want to plead you to like this video okay if you've not done that please click on the like buttons and also share subscribe if you haven't i'll appreciate that a lot and don't forget to um, remember to on the notification bells this helps you get notified every single time i upload my weekly videos on this channel so guys so once i was done making sure that i've caught through to the point where that's my marking stop i went ahead to give it what a slant so also i went ahead also to just confirm the you know the circumference just to be sure that i will be able to get you know what i need to fit into where i'm going to attach it to and i did something extra i said to myself instead of wasting this remaining piece i decided to continue a curve although i didn't get the width of 7.5 so this was just seven inches i just went ahead to continue with this marking because i knew this was going to come in handy okay so i just went ahead to mark out you know the remaining curve like when i was done then i cut out the end point of my spiral shape and here it is guys it was ready so i went ahead of course to continue my markings of my extra you know flare cuts when i was done i shaped it you know by the sides and of course set it aside which was indeed going to come in handy for me because i have an extra piece to work on so here guys here is my flans it's all ready the only thing left now is just to hem this at the lower part give it some notches and turn it to the front and give this a very good press guys and this flans will be ready guys it will be ready to attach it or to anywhere you want to attach it on your dress or on your outfit that is it guys on how to make this spiral flowers thank you so much guys for joining me today please don't forget to like share and if you've not subscribed please do that as well i'll appreciate that a lot thank you guys till i see you on another video bye bye for now